Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. This next one is all about traveling, and we are not talking about basketball, we are talking about the travel of the printhead. Now, travel basically talks about when you are moving and not laying down plastic. So all of those little moves where you're not actually extruding, those are travel moves. Settings under travel include enable retraction, which is a good idea on most printers. It will pull back the filament, so while you're traveling and you're not supposed to be extruding, some doesn't come oozing out the end. There are a couple other settings down here as far as retraction distance and things like that. And you're going to want to adjust those basically according to the printer that you have. Right now my Ender 3 is set to retract at 5 millimeters per second. Or excuse me, 5 millimeters at 45 millimeters per second. The prime speed it's referring to here is how fast it pushes it back in after retracting it. And in my case having it the same as the retraction speed is not a problem. Were I to print something that was a flexible filament like TPU, I would not only turn down the retraction distance a little bit, but I would also decrease the retraction prime speed because slowing it down would keep it from bund bu bundling up in there. The combing mode is basically going to take the print head and wipe it back over the wall of the model instead of pulling off and leaving a gob stringing. So that reduced stringing quite a bit. and. In most cases, I tend to set it in not in skin, so it doesn't show any of those little zits you see in the skin sometimes. Uh, sometimes I will turn it off, sometimes I will use all, but in most cases, it's not in skin. So, Avoid printed parts while traveling can be a good thing if you're printing multiple parts. If your print speed is high, uh, if anything happens where the bed becomes even slightly unleveled, the nozzle can slam into something that's already been printed and knock it over and it seems like just sticking into it a, a millimeter not even I mean 0.4 millimeters 0.2 millimeters depending on what your layer height it seems like that wouldn't do much damage but I have seen models knocked over this way the important thing to remember here is that adding this setting here will increase your print time because it will have to path every travel around parts that already exist instead of crossing over them to get to the parts that are on the other side. So keep that in mind. It can add quite a bit of time if you're not careful. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.